Hello. I don't know the name of this series yet, but today I'm going to be on the series with Mojola. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. A few things in lifestyle. It is a way of life. It's the way you live your everyday life. I'm a lazy owner of channel. I know you very well. I just felt like you're the best person to discuss spirituality. Okay. Spirituality. What's the thing for spirituality? This video just just open your mind to collect this video because see what you are doing is not nice. <laughs> Catching me on our words. Anyway, don't worry. But if like I told you before and you prepared, you may not say what you have like in mind. You may go and do now, research now. My all that research is not even something that you can actually do a research on. Something that you should answer based on what you actually know, what yeah. you experience. Yeah, but I feel seen. like if I tell people the topic beforehand, is um, it is it the topic that you see on Google? This one, yeah, if you search on Google that what's the relationship between Christianity, religion, and spirituality, you will try to see people that have that. You can read them and you'll be like, okay, I think I agree with this one. Yeah, like dig it. And then you may see something that has never come to your head before, but because you've seen it, you're like, okay, I think I want to see it. I'm just going to say, as it seems like to me, and what I've seen, what I've experienced, uh, I feel like many people have different views on this topic. And yeah. then once you start talking about it, you you open new doors to things that you've not heard before, things that you've not seen before, and things that you never knew that existed. Anyway, I feel yes. like when it comes to spirituality, People take it like way too fast. Spirituality is not something that is hard. It's not something that is tough. It's not. It's not something that is way beyond our reach. It's just a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. say it's just like living the way that Jesus Christ lived. I feel just, like I feel like I have my kind of mentality. I don't, like, I don't like that when I think the way somebody thinks. I, <laughs> no, 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 no. I like having unique thoughts. Anyway, yes, I, you, we are unique. You <laughs> get. I just, but I think that is a lifestyle. Shall you just? Once you know that this is what you're supposed to do, this is not what you're supposed to do. Once you follow God's words, once you just live the way to just Christ did, it's not it's not all that hard. Once you know that this is the right thing to do, buying is not even going to be there. Stealing thoughts of stealing will not come. Although there are sometimes that the devil tries to shake our face. He do some we things that we can't compare ourselves. To, like we can't compare ourselves. To. That yeah, I mean nobody's perfect, but we're getting there day by day, and just Christ is helping every single person. Let me not say what came to my mind, but shall is a lifestyle. No, you should I'm say what gets to you. Be overly religious. No, like it's not, I don't. I think, I think I'm diverting already. No, you're not diverting because we talk about this thing in school a lot. Like people having to reject people at their doors at church, saying that you're not putting on scarf, you're not doing this, yeah, right. you're not, you're putting on trousers and all that. Like, it's the doctrine like, of our church. And then you see some churches, they're allowed to wear mini skirts, they're allowed to, you know, different churches, different doctrines. Mm -hmm. so as, as, as the Holy Spirit has dropped into your mind that in this church, oh, my people should not, I don't know. I feel like what most people follow is doctrines. Uh, every single thing that you need to read in the Bible, you are going through stories. What you need is in the Bible. You are, you are, you are, you are this is in the Bible. You are that is in the Bible. So, what's your take on decency? I just had to. <laughs> like, what's your take on decency in relation to spirituality and Christianity? Oh. Like, what do you think is bad? What do you think is good? Like, as Christians, I don't think that is until you open every part of your body that people will say that you are beautiful or that people will see that. You dress properly, you dress nice. I don't, I don't think I want to mention that topic because it's a very delicate topic. And then, <laughs> I'm serious. I don't want to, but what I think is that dressing decent is was nice to me. I just think you're dressing decent is okay. Of course, there are times where you feel like I just want to. I like this dress. I like this top. It's not opening body or anything. It's just I feel like okay. There's there's this thing I wrote down one time. I wrote that um. Christianity doesn't have to do with doctrines, following rules and everything. Uh, spirituality is all about you and your God. No, this was not yeah. We don't have I'm to really follow doctrines. Um, Christianity is not about the church or doctrines. 
makes your personal relationship with God. It's all about your heart and conscience. Regardless, there are things you should never do as Christians. Not because the church condemns them, but because you are God's child. That explains it all. There are things that you should not do. Right. Because God does not allow it. Because God has spoken against it, then you should not do them. Whatever you do, that people start to question you that this person is Christian, then you should know that you are moving the wrong way. But when, when people see you and they're like, oh yes. When people question you, it doesn't mean you are wrong. No, not that. I'm saying that there are certain things that people will say. And then it's just like, uh, what, what do you think about backbiting? And you know the person to be a Christian. What will come to your mind first? You're seeing the person. Will you not say at first, you'll be like, in your rap, people will say, if it's your rap, they will say, eh, electorate like, is your loan. People say that a lot. I hear that people say that a lot. Like, they are doing something that is very obvious that Christian should not be doing because you you know what a Christian should do and what a Christian should not do. You get and then you're you like what? And you put yourself in Christian. Sometimes I see people do stuff and I'm like in my mind I just say that in my mind and I'm like God should not be doing because I'm not even perfect and I'm, I should not be judging or questioning anybody's lifestyle. It's your heart, it's your what you follow, it's what you think, like it's what your conscience feels is right. Like it's it's all in your head. Like, I feel like God sees your heart. Like even if what you're doing is wrong and God knows you are not doing it like intentionally. Like I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You understand me? Um, like you are doing it, it is wrong. But nobody ever came to you to say, Oh baby girl, what you are doing is wrong. Girl. Like you're just doing it, you don't know it is wrong. In God's eyes it's not wrong. Even though it is wrong, like to humans. If ignorance is a sin, then it means that you have to pursue the truth. Whether or not you know it's right. There's no way that you'll be here. That you be alive on this head, and then there's no single person that will tell you that what you're doing is wrong, or you're not seeing it somewhere, or your conscience is not telling you. Sometimes, even if you feel like uh, this is right, there's something in you, but not necessarily be your conscience. Maybe it's the Holy Spirit that's telling you that this thing is wrong because you don't have people around you to tell you. There's surely a way that God will let you know that it's not right. Okay. And what you're doing is wrong. That's why I think. You know there are some churches that don't wear earrings. Yeah, yeah. You know there are churches that don't use attachments. Yeah. You know there are churches that can't wear trousers. Yeah. We do all of this. Do we think it's wrong? We are doing it because like we don't see the wrong in it. Do you get me? Like we don't see the wrong in it, but there are people that see like the wrong in it. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to. Say. I'm just meditating, and God reveals to me that oh, this thing you are doing is wrong. Like okay, stop wearing trousers. And then I still keep wearing it. That's where I'm wrong. Because I feel like when I'm doing it, like I don't see the wrong in it or this thing. That's because there's nowhere in the Bible that they said we should not wear trousers. There's somewhere in the where it says something like that. I think it says something in relation to wearing a man's clothing. Okay, so this recording is alone because I think that talking together is going to cause contradictions and we keep saying what we think and the whole thing is starting to sound like we're not coming to a conclusion now and just moving in circles <clears throat> uh, when it comes to uh, decency in relation to spirituality I think that just the way it sounds decency just be decent it's not hard to, be, to dress decently of course, there are different aesthetics. When you when you uh, think about fashion in its own sense, but again, we should be reminded that we don't need to follow the things of the world or the trends of the world. I still will not mention names of spiritual leaders, but we should just first off, there's nothing like put God aside. There's nothing like let's leave spirituality aside or let's leave God. In one place like let's forget about god for a while there's nothing like that just everything you think of everything you do just think of god and think of spirituality in every single thing that you do so when you have that mindset you definitely just relate everything in the bible to your way of life to your own lifestyle and you see that things become easier for you dressing decent in fact you will not even wake up every day thinking of how to dress decently because you know that your choice of clothes is already in quotes decent. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. I don't know if I feel like I'm saying trash, but 
I definitely won't know what I want to say in my head, but it's not coming together right. So, um, that's that's that about decency. Just, just dress decently. Whatever aesthetic you choose, whatever type of fashion that you choose to um, dress yourself up every day, just be decent. Just be decent. And then, what was the other thing that we talked about the other time? What do I think of spirituality? I still think it's a lifestyle. It is a way of life. It's the way you live your everyday life. Holiness in its own sense. Um, Christianity is a way of life. It's not until it's not until you sit and be thinking that how do I want to live today? Once you give your life to Christ and once you're already in Jesus, once you're already in God, the Holy Spirit will teach you everything that you need to do. You don't need to start looking for people. You don't need to make people's lives a sample for your own. Jesus Christ is the sample that you need. Hmm? Yes, that's what I've been trying to say since. You don't need anybody to set an, as an example for you. Just set Jesus Christ as an example. That's all that you need. Once you're familiar with the Bible, you're familiar with the way that God lived, Jesus Christ lived rather when he was on earth. Just set that as your example. That's all that you need. I don't know how to define decency for you. People see it as different things. Different cultures, different types of way of life, different modes of dressing. So I will not dictate how you should dress for you. Just know that decency is decency. Eh? I, I don't want to define decency for you. That's why I said that. I'm sorry. But decency, eh? When you dress decently, yourself, you people who are dressing well, you will be pretty anyway. You don't have to open body to be pretty. Just dress modest and decent. That's all. I think that's all I have to say. So we've come to the end of this video. It was nice having you here. Pepsi is life. She's a Pepsi ambassador. In the I, I, yes. <laughs> Manifest. <laughs> Amen. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you think. And share it. Yeah, share. share the video. See you guys in my next video. Bye. <sighs> Man, that was crazy.